Hello there. This is your ancestor speaking. Your predecessor from the 21st century. When you emerged repressing me, remember? There was us, the Homo economicus. Don't walk away. Please stay. Please listen to what I have to say. I know I'm out of favor, out of date. You hate me probably, and it's too late to change my fate. But please, two minutes for your ancestor. The one that went before you, I assure you that when you let me explain a little more of what we went through, what we really meant to do, that the intention wasn't evil on our side, it might shed a different light on how you think of us, your ancestors, so you may learn from us because to not get lost in the future, you must know your past, right? So here I am. This is your ancestor speaking, your predecessor from the 21st century. You're blaming me for spreading myself endlessly round the globe, exploiting nature, leaving no hope for a future, driving the earth to the verge of exhaustion, draining her to the bone like a virus, in fact. Doing what it loves the most, to multiply and multiply, completely undermining its host. And you're right, in a way. Looking back, I admit that we did, but we weren't aware that we were doing good. Economic growth for all of you. Comfort and convenience, life is so much easier than it has ever been before. You have to give me that. Of course, I do regret that we've polluted ourselves out of existence, created an unbridgeable distance from all other forms of life until life finally left us. Exit. Homo economicus. You say growth was my holy grail. Yes, it was, and it failed. It couldn't last. I do agree. But in the middle of the hustle, you cannot really see. You say growth was my holy grail. Yes, it was, and it failed. It couldn't last. I do agree. But in the middle of the hustle, you cannot really see. The point I'm trying to make, we weren't fully awake. We didn't know the things you know. It seemed good to stick with growth. Climate change, we heard the words. But the words just didn't hurt. And it may sound absurd to you. But we loved our children too. We were stuck in a system of business. That's how we survived. It gave us our lives to buy or not to buy. Was to be or not to be. Buying things determined our identity. And you can laugh about it now, but remember it was how we managed to get out of poverty and wilderness. Don't call it pure silliness. So we aren't flawless, your great grandparents, but you shouldn't lay it all on us. The homo economicus. You say growth was my holy grail. Yes, it was. And it failed. It couldn't last. I do agree. But in the middle of the hustle, you cannot really see. You say growth was my holy grail. Yes, it was. And it failed. It couldn't last. I do agree. But in the middle of the hustle, you cannot really see. So here I am. This is your ancestor speaking. Your predecessor from the 21st century. To ask for forgiveness. And for some understanding. Please, don't be too demanding. Don't be too hard on us. We did the best we could. Moving forward like we thought we should. And though we were just a phase in the existence of the human race, we paved the road for you in many ways. This is your ancestor speaking. The relatives you know so well. Forgive us, I beg you, for sending you to hell. You say growth was my holy grail. Yes, it was, and it failed. It couldn't last, I do agree. But in the middle of the hustle, you cannot really see. You say growth was my holy grail. Yes, it was, and it failed. It couldn't last, I do agree. But in the middle of the hustle, the middle of the hustle, you say growth was my holy grail. Yes, it was, and it failed. It couldn't last, I do agree. But in the middle of the hustle, you cannot really see. You say growth was my holy grail. Yes, it was, and it failed. It couldn't last, I do agree, but in the middle of the hustle, you cannot really see.